looks like we have a quorum. Uh, we don't appear to have any of the applicants present, though. I'm not sure what that uh, that issue is, but. Well, as we have discussion numerous times, they don't have to be present unless there's a problem. You know. Well, it is five o'clock. We'll wait a little while and see if anybody shows up for it. Everybody, everybody, hopefully was notified that it's five o'clock rather than five thirty. We've got a couple here right now. Okay, there we go. There's, I'll go in. Uh, Hi, Michael. And we have a second caller. Uh, ending in five. I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> Hey, caller on the line, uh, 5236, can you identify yourself? Roger, Kobolarsik. Ah, okay. All right, John, you mind if I give the uh, the meeting intro there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, the format of this meeting consists of board members and applicants attending a live uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, looks like we have uh, six members present uh, in the Zoom meeting. For applicants, please only speak when the chair indicates it's time to do so. In addition, as usual, prior to addressing the board, please state your name, address, and affirm to tell the truth. Uh, the meeting is also streaming live on the YouTube channel. Um, looks like we have three people uh, viewing right now on YouTube. Uh, viewers on YouTube have the ability to enter comments. If you enter in a comment on YouTube, please first indicate your name and address. Comments can be entered at any time. Uh, related comments to the board when the chair indicates it's time to do so. Uh, finally, please also be aware there's an approximate 15 second delay between the Zoom meeting and the live stream on YouTube. Um, so that's all I have for now. I don't have anyone else in the waiting room, John. So if you want to get started, uh, go right ahead. Okay. Uh, let's bring the uh, City of Worcester Design and Review Board meeting to order. It is the July 2nd, 2020 meeting. Our first order of business is roll call. I call out your name. Will you uh, stay present if you're here? Don Campbell, present. Nick Deffenbaugh. Here. Louise Keating. Dick Kinder. Susan Bates. Present. Sandra Hall. Here. Keith Spears. Present. Okay. All board, the board members that aren't in attendance are Louise Keating and Dick Kinder, but we do have an upper quorum. Our next order of business is approval of the June 4th, 2020 meeting minutes. Um, do I have a motion? This is Sandra Hall. I move that we accept the minutes as received. Okay. Um, all those, all those in favor, as I name your, as I say your name, say aye. John Campbell, aye. Dick Deffenbaugh, aye. Susan Bates, aye. Sandra Hall, aye. Spears, aye. We so move the minutes. From June 4th are approved. Our next order of business will be applications. Our first order of business is VR 20 13, Roger Kobalarsik of the City of Worcester requesting an approval recommendation for a parking lot and trash enclosure on the north side of East South Street, uh, parcels number 64 01549.000 and 64 01000.000 in the Street District. Anybody here representing that? Uh, state your name, affirmative truth, and presentation. Uh, Roger Kobolarsik, 538 North Market Street. I affirm to tell the truth. And before you start there, Roger, it uh, looks like Louise Keating is, has joined us. That's correct. Good okay. evening. Louise Keating is not present. Want me to proceed? Yeah, go ahead, Roger. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm uh, just asking for approval to uh, construct a parking lot. Um, it's right there at the old uh, Slifka Buick dealership. Uh, purposes is to get some parking on the east end of town. 
Um, the city owns the two lots. We uh, demoed a couple buildings, and I'm just getting ready to uh, construct the parking lot. Uh, I would be happy to answer any questions. I have, I have a few, I guess, comments and questions. I guess the first comment yeah. is the only evaluation process that we really would do on something like this is aesthetics, which would be the landscaping and the trash enclosure material, which we really don't have. Sample of what we would that would probably be it. Um, I think I had three questions that really are outside of our um, approval uh, parameter, but I just had them as questions and maybe suggestions. My first question was the theme. I, there's no scale here, but developing it off of your visual scale that you have on your north arrow, it appears that the parking lots are only like 43 feet wide. Well, they're, they're per the per the standards. Okay, I mean they they um, put the arrow. That was my first question. My other question I thought you might want to consider is it looks like you have the the walk that is to the west entering off the alley. You may have a lot of people coming into that parking lot off of South Street. Confusion where they're driving against the traffic. Excuse me, John. I can't. You're kind of garbled. Can't understand you. Okay. I don't know what I can do about that. Can you hear me better now? A little. Uh huh. Thank you. That was my. I was. I was just wondering if you would think about having them both go the same direction and both enter off a of South. Street. I think that might get confusion again. If people turning in and off of South Street and pulling into that parking lot against the front of the cars. And that well, I was, thinking, yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking that for the flow, we I, mean, I can put some signs up that say enter and ent and exit. I think most people are going to enter it from South Street. If they came in and one was full. They could just they could just circle around the alley and come back in again. And then the other thing you've got that side entrance coming into it a directional parking lot, which could become a flow problem too, especially if they try to turn. Wait, what? What? Wait, where do you mean? I don't know where you mean there, John. The side entrance going into the alley, off of. Uh, oh, that's just going into a building there. There's no travel on that alley. There's no travel on that side. Okay. No, that was, no, that's just that was, that's just going into the building. Yeah, those are just my suggestions. I. I mean, I, yeah, I guess there's, there's, from a standpoint, obviously, it's nice to have more parking. Uh, but you know, from our evaluation process, we about would be evaluating landscaping and trash enclosure material. Is what I would be saying. We would typically be doing, and we're not really, we don't really have that that material presence. As far as the parking is concerned, I guess we can surely, uh, you know, approve the parking, but we haven't looked at those. those two right. I, I thought about about a quarter of that. Okay, I don't really know what's going on with that. I can't I can't answer what that is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was what I was saying is we evaluate we would be evaluating aesthetics, meaning we would be evaluating landscaping. We would be evaluating okay. the material you're using for the trash enclosure. So we don't have that information. So we can surely act on the parking lot, but we would. Still need to approve the material being used on the trash enclosure. Yeah, it's just a vinyl fencing like we have down there uh, in the North Buckeye, the, the South Buckeye parking lot and the okay. North Buckeye parking lot. You'd be matching that part of the vinyl that you have on that in that lot down there. I would, yeah, I'd be matching what what is yeah what we've already used elsewhere. Okay, all righty, okay. Well, I guess you know. With that being said, my comments. Do I have a Do I have a motion? This is Sandra. I move that we approve the plans for the parking lot on South Street. It's okay. going to be a wonderful thing for the East End. Okay. All, those, okay, all those in favor, as I call out your name, uh, state, uh, state uh, affirmed by uh, affirmed by saying aye. John Campbell, aye. Nick Neffenbaugh. Dick, I'm sorry. We're voting, Dick. If you approve, affirm by second. Or if you don't, say nothing. Then. Yes, I approve. Okay. Louise Keating. Approve. Okay. Uh, Susan Bates. Approve. Sandra Hall. I approve. Keith Spears. Approve. 
Okay. Looks like we have a unanimous approval. Uh, all those in favor, if, so, if that thing is submitted. So our next order of business is DR 20 14. Unanimous. Requesting sign approval for a first assessment on the existing Houston sign of 105 West North in the C4 zoning district. You want to afford, state your name, affirm and tell the truth. Hi there, this is Jean Bowen Roberts. I'm here on behalf of Rhiannon O'Haran. My address is 301 West Lane Avenue in Worcester, and I affirm to tell the truth. Okay. So uh, Rhiannon is, uh, she recently took over ownership of what you know as spa collections, which is uh, just next to the old jail in downtown Worcester. She is hoping to change the sign to reflect the new name of her business. So the new name is Remix Salon and Spa. The existing signage structure um, is, is there and she doesn't intend to change the signage structure itself, um, the posts there. So she's just rewrapping or, or hoping to rewrap the existing sign, which would reflect the new name and the new logo. Can we answer any questions? Okay, are there any questions from the board? Okay, if not, do I have a motion? This is, this is Sandra. I move that we approve the signage as presented. Okay. Uh, with that being said, we're all uh, all those in favor of. Is there a second there, John? Sorry. Oh, do I have a second to that motion? Oh, Susan Bates, I'll second the motion. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I? Let's vote on it now. As I call out your name, uh, say let's just say I for approval and nay for rejection. Uh, John Campbell, I. Dick Deffenbaugh. Aye. Louise Keating. Aye. Susan Bates. Aye. Sandra Hall. Aye. Keith Spears. Aye. You guys have it. Aye. That, that would be, it's approved as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, our next order of business is DR 2015. Uh, requesting an approval recommendation for a front facade configuration and sign approval of all signs at 203 West Liberty Street in the C4 zoning district. Is there anybody here representing this project? Once again, is there anybody here representing this project? Okay. Is there any board comp? Is there any board coming on this project? Basically, the refacing and renovation of the old parlor. Looks like they're painting the uh, the brick on the side straight white, um, putting metal siding on the front, and then they're picking out the signage. Are there any comments? John, can you explain to me what tube light is? What that is? Is that a fabric? Is it what? What is it? Tube light is a brand name for the framing of the windows. That's okay. The, that's the brand name. That's not. A, that's not a generic product. It's a brand name of the aluminum frame work that you put around your door with, like a door that comes into your office, glass door, aluminum tube around it. That's made. Be made by Tubalite. And we just had a couple of uh, callers come in. Um, uh, 3857, can you identify yourself? Uh, say again. Uh, number ending in 3857. Uh, less than who you are? Uh, Kinder. Okay. It's Dick Kinder. Yes. So he is now present. And then number ending no. at eight three. Well, he's on there now, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I I can't can't understand what you're saying. Okay, we we got you there, Dick. Um, 
And 883, can you identify yourself? Ken Stifler, sign design. Okay. And, and Ken, okay. we're discussing the, the Leaf restaurant. I don't, the applicant's not here. I don't know if you were present for that as well. I tried to get on the, through the computer and it didn't. I either messed up or something. Okay, you're on the call, Dick. Back, back to the back to the leaf restaurant application. Is there any uh, questions in reference to that project? Not till I have a Mr. Campbell, as far as the sign goes, I was under the impression somebody representing them was going to be here. I ultimately will be creating the sign so I can field questions. This is Ken from Sign Design. Forgive me. And, uh, does the board have any further questions? And if not, does, is, does anybody have a motion here? Did everybody hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? you're a little garbled. Um, okay. This is Susan Bates. I'll make a motion. We would have liked to have had somebody here uh, representing, but um, I'm sure Mr. Stifler will do a nice job and the sign looks nice. So I make a motion that we approve as presented. Now you do realize we're not just approving the sign here, Susan, we're approving an exterior renovation with new windows, new siding, painting. Board. Right, that's what the tubing you were talking about? Or was? Well, that's just the door the, frame. But there's also- The tube light, yeah, okay. Well, so I have a motion now standing that we're going to approve the project as submitted. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Do I have a second? Dick Duffenbaugh, I'll second the motion. Okay. Okay. All those in favor of approval will signify by saying aye or, or against it nay when I call your name. John Campbell, aye. Dick Duffenbaugh, aye. Louise Kading, aye. Dick Kinder, aye. Susan Bates. Aye. Sandra Hall. Sandra Hall. Sandra. Sandra, can you hear me? Yes. I'm calling for a an an aye or a nay on a. I'm sorry. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Keith Spears. Aye. Okay. Just a minute. Mr. Campbell, may I? This is Ken from Sign Design. Yes. And forgive forgive me, I joined the meeting a few minutes late. The uh, the uh, remix sign, I did not catch that. I didn't know if anybody was there re represented, but once again, I will be making it, but I did not design it. Okay. Well, you'll be making it, I guess, because it's approved. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. I apologize. Okay. The only one I am up on would be the next one, so you may... Okay, our next business is DR 20-28, Ken Stipple requesting sign approval for a wall sign at 335 East Liberty Street in the C4 District. Uh, if any representatives come forward, state your name, affirm and tell the truth. Ken Stifler, sign design Worcester, and affirm to tell the truth. We are proposing an additional sign on the east face of the building a sign about 66%, the two thirds of the size of the original on the front, which would complete our maximum allowable for the building. You approved the front sign late last year, which was just installed here a couple of weeks back. And he's requesting a smaller sign on the east facade to give some sort of visibility as you come down Bell Avenue and make that turn because you can't really see that sign until you get right up on the building, the, the front sign that is. So we're asking for a smaller sign that you've already approved on the front to be allowed on this east facade, a six footer. Okay, are there any comments or questions? Do I have a motion? Sandra, this is Sandra. I move that we accept the sign as, uh, as presented. Okay, do I have a second to the motion? I second it. Under. State your name. Dick Kender. OK. 
Okay. All those in favor will signify by saying aye if accepted or nay if rejected as I call your name. John Campbell, aye. Eppenball. Aye. Louise Keating. Aye. Dick Kinder. Aye. Susan Bates. Aye. Sandra Hall. Aye. Keith Spears. Aye. Okay. It is approved as submitted. Thank you. Okay, our next order of business is DR 20-30, Michael Mariola requesting approval for sidewalk seating at 148 South Market Street in the Public Square Landmark District. Um, someone here representing this, come forward, state your name, affirm yourself the truth, and give us your presentation. Michael Mariola, uh, 570 North Market Street, and I affirm to tell the truth. Uh, we are requesting permission to add patio seating on the sidewalk so that we can serve guests out in front of City Square Steakhouse. Um, this is yeah. something that other restaurants have done in the past in the downtown. And uh, our need right now is really based around the restrictions in our existing patio and dining room where we have uh, to limit the seating based on social distancing and also the desire um, by many of our guests to dine in open air. So um, we are proposing to use the same furniture that we have inside our patio, existing patio out front. And um, I, I submitted the request for the, based on the current social distancing, which is four, would allow for four tables total, but also sent a drawing uh, showing that, uh, God willing, we get to the point where we don't have social distancing anymore, we would be able to go to a total of six tables out in front of the restaurant. And I, I do want to say thank you to this committee for uh, uh, accepting this request and, and application on short notice and uh, appreciate you accepting drawings that were obviously hand done versus architectural drawings. Uh, as we put this together last minute. So thank you. And I'm available to answer any questions. Okay, are there any questions or comments from the board? Okay, with that, with that. Uh, may I ask a question? This is Sandra. Uh, Michael, on the, um, where you have the three, um, could you not put two more? Uh, tables there once perhaps when the social distancing is uh, maybe right you know alleviated somewhat on the I would say it's on the south side in front of the, where the actual patio is uh, as long as you leave as long as you leave sidewalk right yeah well what we're proposing is that we would maintain at least uh, I, I put at least six feet although it's mo more like seven feet at a at a minimum of clear sidewalk uh, area so I think I think what what's shown there on the second page where you see the six tables and chairs is probably what we would end up with if we didn't have the social distancing requirements I see okay thank you Thank you. Is there any other further questions? Uh, I have a question. Uh, this is Keating. I'm trying to figure out how to frame a motion for approval. Uh, is the chair seeking an approval that would permit up to six tables or whatever social distancing allows? Or is the chair seeking uh, an approval for four tables? I would say we would try to get an approval for the ultimate solution, which would be uh, a minimum of a, a present approval of four and a maximum amount of six. Okay. So I guess I, with that, do I, have I would be willing to make a motion to that effect if you are at the end of questions. That would be fine if there's no other further questions. If not, motion away. Okay. Uh, I move that the proposal uh, be accepted to permit no less than four and up to six tables and chairs as shown on the drawing submitted. Do I have a second to that motion? 
This is Sandra. Mm -hmm. I second the motion. Okay. Uh, all those in favor uh, will signify by saying aye and oppose nay as they call it your name. Okay. We've got John Campbell, aye. Dick Deffenbaugh. Dick Deffenbaugh. I'm not sure he's still on the call. I think he looks like he's his, 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 video, his video is gone. I see. Yeah, he's not there. Louise Keating. Aye. Dick Kinder. Aye. Susan Bates. Aye. Sandra Hall. Aye. Luke Spears. Aye. Okay, the ayes have it. It's approved and submitted. Has there been any public comment at all or on anything? Uh, there is not, and I'm the only one watching right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess with that, I guess our next motion will be for adjournment. This is Dick Kinder. I move that we adjourn. Do I have a second to that motion? Susan Bates, I second the motion. Okay, all those in favor of adjournment will signify by saying aye. 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 I have to call your name though. Oh, so, sorry. Oh. Aye. Right. <laughs> Dick Deppenbaugh. Louise He's Keating. Gone. Louise Keating, aye. Uh, Dick Kinder. Aye. Susan Bates. Aye. Sandra Hall. Aye. Keith Spears. Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for another uh, month of virtual meetings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrew, for setting them up. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that last minute thing to my house. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All righty. Bye bye. Bye. Happy Fourth. Bye. Yep. <laughs>